Hello and welcome to a Vector Tuts Quick Tip screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. I happened to go to the Triple Door a couple weeks ago to see Stu, who wrote the musical Passing Strange. And I noticed that these two logos had something in common, and I thought, hey, that would be a good use for the perspective tools in Illustrator CS5. Usually one thinks of buildings and cityscapes when you use the perspective tool, but it works with type as well, so let's get started building these logos. There are two tools in the set, and I'm just going to tear these off from the toolbar. When you choose the Perspective Grid tool, you see the Perspective Grid, and we're just using a simple two-point perspective. And you can see that there are several components of the grid itself. There's the left plane, the right plane, and the ground plane. And then there's this widget, which is used to activate the planes on the grid. The colors on the widget correspond to those on the grid. And if you press inside the circle but outside the cube, that means that no plane is active. So let's take a look and see how that works. I'm going to activate the left grid, and then I'll draw a rectangle, and you see that it snaps into perspective. Then I can use the Perspective Selection tool to resize or reposition the rectangle, and it always stays in perspective. If I want to move this rectangle over to the right plane, I'll grab it with the Perspective Selection tool, and then press the 3 key as I'm dragging. The 3 is the shortcut for the right plane, and as you can see, that plane is now active. Now let's work with text. Just type a word with your text tool, but you can't type it directly on the grid. Type it off the grid, then with the text selection tool, drag it on to the active plane. Again, as with the rectangle, you can resize and reposition it, and because it's text, it will stay editable. You can't use the text tool directly on the grid, so double-click on the word, which will put the type in isolation mode, and then you can use the text tool and edit it. Here you can see that it's still an editable type object, press the Escape key to get out of isolation mode, and again use the Perspective Selection tool to move this around. You can see that it's kind of hanging off the grid, and that's okay, it's not really hanging off the grid. The grid exists in space, but you don't see the representation of it in Illustrator. I'm going to type my second word, then I can either click on the widget to activate the right plane, or I can drag it and hold down the 3 key as I did before. And I'll just adjust this and position it, and then we'll hide the grid, and there's the start of the logo. For the next one, I'm going to modify the grid a bit. And the Perspective Grid tool, that's its only job, is to make changes to the grid. I can use these handles and kind of swing these back and forth like a gate. I can also move the horizon line, and the horizon line is typically eye level. So with type, that's not going to make a difference, but I've already worked it out that I want this to be up a little higher. Then I'll type my first word, take the Perspective Selection tool, and drag it onto the right plane. That plane is already active, so I'm just going to drag that, and I'll make it a little bigger, and again, it's going to kind of hang out on the side of the grid. I'll type the second word and do the same thing. I want to put this on the left plane, and the keyboard shortcut for that is 1, so I'll just hold down the 1 key as I'm dragging with the Perspective Selection tool. And I'm just going to adjust this a little bit. Now I want to change the color, and you can't do that while it's in the perspective, so again I'm going to double click to enter isolation mode, and then change the color from there, hit the escape key to get out of it, and do the same with the second word. I noticed in the original logo that the type is skewed a little bit, but if I try to take the shear tool and make that transformation, I'll get this message. And it's telling me that any transformation I make like this is going to expand the type, that means I can't edit it anymore. I have found, however, that you can add a 3D effect and keep the type editable. I'm going to hide the perspective grid, but the objects will still be in perspective, and I've applied a slight extrude and bevel effect to give it some dimension. I'll just go up to the effects menu and apply that to the second word, and now, as before, I'll double click to enter isolation mode, and the text is still live and editable. So here's hoping you can experiment with some type in perspective in Illustrator CS5.